There are plenty of people in the town of Mullumbimby this week who feel their private grief has been invaded and a tragedy made worse by the media's antics. The story broke on a Saturday night. The 15-year-old boy has been killed in a schoolyard brawl in far, than, far northern New South Wales. There are conflicting stories over what happened. Some say he hit his head on a brick wall. Others say he was punched and kicked by Year 11 student. But the next morning, the Sunday Telegraph left little room for doubt. Little lunch murder. The student alleged Jai had been beaten to a pulp and... It was really scary and intense. We saw him on the ground and it was horrible. They just ran over the top of him when he was down and kept kicking him. Almost certainly all this is pure fantasy. According to the police, it's based on garbled evidence from third and fourth hand sources. There were no external injuries to his body consistent with him being stomped on, kicked or thrown up against a wall. By the Sunday evening, most of the media had decided on their focus. Today, a disturbing picture began to emerge of a culture of violence at the North Coast School. To prove it, Nine News offered us one brief comment by a student, one from a former parent, plus... And there's also this graphic evidence that trouble had been brewing in the playground. What appears to be organised fights among students, filmed and posted on YouTube. That boxing scene wasn't filmed in the school playground, but in a sports ground over the road, where 18 months ago some students took to staging unofficial sparring bouts. The school's vice principal told us... It was without permission, it was not supervised, it was stopped as soon as we found out about it. But it's not part of an entrenched culture of violence at this school. Damien Ryan's story on Nine continued... And then in 2005, students made a documentary on the school. Mullumbimby High School. With a teacher clearly concerned at the behaviour of some children. They're not the worst students I've ever met. Yeah. But, um, the author of that documentary wrote to Media Watch, furious that his schoolboy comedy effort made four years ago had been used as evidence to corroborate their twisted and uninformed view on the situation. The teacher in the documentary is equally angry. He hasn't taught there since 2006, he says, and in any case... My comment was that there was a small percentage of violent students. I didn't think there is a culture of bullying and violence there. It's a good school. That same Sunday evening, a current affairs Kate Donison was trespassing on the school grounds to come up with a farrago of nonsense for Monday's programme. Tonight, we take you inside the scene of the crime. For the first time since the tragedy, introduce you to the students who predicted Friday's fatal warfare. This has been happening for years, like over three years yeah. ago, they're still one and off yeah. tables. And they... Shay, Sarah, Pip and Jaden were among Jai's closest friends. No, they weren't. The three girls knew Jai, but weren't in his inner circle. The boy knew him even less well. Yet at least one of those girls appeared in almost every television and newspaper story on the Sunday and Monday. Robert Avadia of Seven News reported last Monday... I spoke to, uh, to Jai's mother this morning. She's saying many students are pretending that they were his best friend just so they can get their head on television. The police are hearing very, very different things. Here's a classic example. One of Jai Morecambe's so-called best friends on A Current Affair. Young Jaden claims one student filmed the brutal bashing on a mobile phone. Footage he says he saw shortly after Jai was knocked unconscious. They showed me the footage and it was like all glimpsy, but um, I seen like a couple of punches being thrown, then Jai being pushed, then Jai lying on the ground. At the end of the piece, Tracy Grimshaw told her viewers... And this afternoon, New South Wales police were appreciative when we handed over all of our information relating to a student who used his mobile phone to video the schoolyard brawl. The police were a good deal less appreciative when they'd followed up ACA's claims. They found that... This kid didn't know Jai. He said he didn't think the video was of the fight. He told us that it was absolutely nothing at all. Police have turned up no more than five seconds of video which simply showed Jai Morecambe lying on the ground. There are certainly some parents and pupils at Mullumbimby High who are worried about bullying. That's true of most schools in the country. But Media Watch has received anguished complaints about the media coverage from students, parents and teachers. For example, this email from the Year 12 Legal Studies class. 
We would like to express our dismay and disgust at the media's portrayal of our recent tragedy, the vilification of our school's culture and identity, as well as the attacks on our students and principal, have appeared to us unfounded. Do you have any respect? That dismay and disgust with the media was evident when distraught students and parents walked through the town last Monday. <laughs> no way, man. Oh. Can you please go away? <laughs> One of the most sensible comments we've seen was on that same camera tape. I wish everyone would go away until we know what the story is and then just, like, it's not a time to make rumours and shit. Is there generally any, any bullying at the school, do you know? Not really. There's bullying just like at every other school. It, like, it's, it's a thing that happens. He was just a beautiful boy. That's all I have to say. <laughs> and that's all I have to say too. Though there's more detail, as always, on our website. Until next week, good night.